Hello. And welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new here, in which case, welcome. Hi, my name is Mason. And I do um, makeup tutorials on the interwebs. And I'm really good at eating food and talking some shit. So I plan on doing a little bit of all of that. Today, we are going to transform into like a weird like clown, sexy like pink and blue, hot mess, ice cream, melted sherbet, disaster, sequined, big mouthed thing. So if you want to see me go from this <coughs> then keep on watching. I'm going to be covering my brows with this Elmer's washable glue stick. I'm just taking that glue stick and running it through my eyebrows. This way when I go and I cover them with latex, it doesn't rip out my brows. Oh, those little baby hairs. Off camera, I went and glued down this side of the bald cap. <clears throat> when my brows were still wet, I pulled the um, bald cap over them. That way I didn't have to spend as much time covering them with glue. Now all I have to do is cover this little front bit. And I'm going to show you guys how to seal it on this side, my eyebrows, and over my ears just stretch it down because I want it to pull everything up so just stretch it over that and then go ahead and let it dry just blend it out even more into the skin then we just let that dry like that and do it all the way around being careful the closer we get to the brow because we're just gonna fill this area in with glue now that that is glued on and our eyebrows are being ripped up and um, our head is all covered we're going to put on this little elf nose prosthetic that I got from Spirit Halloween. And latex over my nose in the areas where I know it's going to be hitting. I'm going to take the lightest cream foundation I have and a stippling brush. This is um, Craftobian in Fair Olive. And I'm just going to stipple that everywhere. And then with a damp beauty blender, we're just going to blend all of that out. Too Faced Melted Latex Lipstick in shade Hot Mess. We have Urban Decay's Vice Liquid Lipstick in color ZZ. We have Milani's A More Matte Lip Cream in shade Sweetheart. We have Wet n Wild's Liquid Catsuit in shade Boo Blue. So we are going to go in with this um, Melted Latex Lipstick from Too Faced and we're going to contour with this. in with their stippling brush. Try and blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna add a decent amount more. Just actually really go in there. Going in with a little bit of this Vice lipstick, 
I'm just gonna concentrate that right along the edge of the top. Following it downwards. I'm gonna be creating kind of, there is hair that goes onto this. So I'm just creating a little space for it to like almost blend in. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of that and just deepen up this contour. Okay, next we're going back in with the um, Ben Nye Color in Fair Olive. We're just going to tap that in the middle of both of these circles and reinstitute the shape underneath the cheek, sharpening it up. Going in with the Liquid Cat Suit from Wet n Wild in shade Boo Blue. I'm going to add some eyeshadow to this clown. In my opinion, the scariest clowns are the like messy looking ones. You know what I mean? Like the really freaky, like kind of uneven and like lopsided, like just full on spook. I don't know if that's just me. It's probably just me. Now I'm going in with a little packer brush and just blending that out by tapping it. Going in with more of the Urban Decay lipstick. I'm just gonna focus that on the inner corners of this eye, just like that. Then using the same packer brush, I'm gonna blend that out. Or until it looks like this clown is wearing eyeshadow within the like eyeshadow, if that makes sense, which it probably doesn't. Taking the Amore Matte Lip Cream, I'm just gonna Put that on the eye, right here. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't check if any of these were eye safe. Not really one of those people who pretends to care about that. Like, like go blind doing some makeup. Guess I go blind doing some makeup. Like, most of the time it says things aren't eye safe. It just means that it stains your eyes. My luck, I'll be the one who like goes blind from it. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit and put just a little dot on the apples of either cheek and blend that out with the stippling brush. Going in with a clean little angled brush, I'm just gonna smear that pink. A bit more of that Vice lipstick. Going in with this aqua color palette from Mayron, this is the tropical palette, and I'm gonna be going into um, Lagoon Blue and. Huh. These colors aren't in here correctly. Oh no. Because it says this is Amazon Green. I. I know that's not Amazon Green. I don't know a lot of things, but that is not Amazon Green. That might be Amazon Green. Huh. Oh, maybe it's inversed. No, because it says it goes Lime Coral. What? Mayron, what are you doing? This is all backwards. I can't even plug you properly. Whatever. I'm going in with the dark blue one, and I'm going to run that along the edges of the liner. We're gonna wet it and get it nice and damp and then just blend that into these liquid lipsticks. Just like that. I'm going into this deep purple shade in this aqua color palette and I'm gonna line this circle and just this outer rim of this, kind of blending it into the contour. It is really hard to see the back of my head, so I apologize. Um, next we are going to go in 
now that we have these guys outlined, I don't have to worry about this drying down because you could just reactivate it with water. So I'm going to go in and just line these little eyeshadows, re-dampening this brush and getting it a little bit wet. I'm going to tap off any excess product and I'm going to blend that down. Bam! Easy peasy. That's probably the easiest smoky eye I've, I've done in a minute. We're gonna go in with that angled brush we were using before. We're gonna wet it a little bit. We're gonna go in and blend in these circles. We're gonna take a little bit of this melted latex lipstick that we were using. We're just dragging this down from the crease we made before. Using that same angled brush, we're just going to go in and blend that out. Back in with that foundation shade we were using in the beginning, the Fair Olive. We're going to put that on the sides, just right here. We're going to run it along at the end of that Milani lipstick in shade Sweetheart get some on our brush. A couple of dots on either side to help blend the colors in. We're just going in and adding some highlights in white. We're going to try and even out the nose a little bit. Go in with some more white. We're just going to stipple it along the cheekbone. We'll blend that out in a second. We're gonna pick up a little bit more on our finger and we're just gonna blend that out using our finger. Trying to keep the tone nice and even. So you might have to leave it a little bit thicker on the skin than it is on the bald cap. And just right in the middle of the forehead. You're going to tap it on and then blend it out using our sponge. I'm actually just going to keep on using my finger. I think that was working better. Now it's time to attach the hair. This is just um, pink and blue cankalon hair that I braided um, into really tiny braids and then steamed. And then once it was out of those really tiny braids, I just teased it and hairsprayed it to make this shape here. I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink. Just pick that up on a blush brush. Just stipple it over this white. The fun part, I went and I studded one of these mouth game pieces. It just has two screws and a bunch of rhinestones epoxy to it. I'm gonna see where this lands on my mouth to see where I'm about to draw some new lips. I'm gonna line where I want my new lips to be with this Urban Decay um, Vice Lipstick in shade ZZ. Once the base is down, we can go in and fill in our new lips, and we're gonna add a little bit of a gradient with the three lipsticks we've been playing with. Melted Latex in shade Hot Mess from Too Faced, and we're gonna deepen that up a little bit. We're gonna take uh, our Milani lipstick in shade Sweetheart and we're gonna put that right in the middle. Just like that. We're gonna give those just a second to dry down and then we're gonna blend it out with our finger. I think we're gonna add some rhinestone eyebrows. I'm just putting a little dab of latex on there and then setting it down onto the mask. I mean, onto our face. Same thing at this point, honestly. I'm going to take some of that Precious Petals Mega Glow highlighter. I hope that's what it's called. Ooh. Really? 
Does she kind of go and be patchy like that? Why you gotta go and be patchy like that? Shut up and take your highlighter. Let's take a bit of this MAC eyeshadow and plumage, and I'm just gonna deepen up this little area right here. I want it to be a little bit more intense. I'm gonna go ahead and take some white and just pop that along the neck and the collarbones. And then I'm going to contour my chest using the same um, Urban Decay lipstick. In the Too Faced lipstick again, the Melted Latex, we're just gonna drag that down. Taking more white, we're just gonna run that down the neck. Trying to keep the skin tone even here. I'm gonna add some of this Milani pink tone right over where we put the Vice lipstick and this is just to help tie the tones together. So where it's more pinky up top, it's gonna be more pinky down here too. Going in with the Urban Decay lipstick, you already know the drill. Except this time we're just putting it in the parts we want to be the deepest, which is right on the inside of the collarbones. Alright guys, thank you so so much for watching this tutorial. If you had fun and thought I was interesting or you just really enjoyed this look, click the subscribe button down below. And you'll be seeing this gorgeous face Tahoe in your feed a whole lot more. Give it a thumbs up if you want to. You thought this drooly little clown was scary. Or just plain crazy. Cause uh I'm covered in a lot of I'm covered in a lot of sit and I feel disgustingly gorgeous. Down below in the comment section, I wanna know. What do you guys think about clowns? Tell me, are they scary? Are they just friends? Are they to make children laugh? You tell me, you be the judge. All right guys, but thank you again for watching. Until next time, 